All right, this time I'm going to answer some uh, common questions that I've been getting uh, recently. And instead of wasting my time replying to everyone, make a video here. So let's start with the first question that's a very popular is, which distro am I using? Um, you know, I said this in the past is that I really don't care about which distro or uh, desktop environment or whatever that I'm using. But uh, for people that want to know the current one that I'm using right now, okay, is I'm using this thing called Bridge Linux, which is based on Arch Linux, and I'm using the XFCE version. But they do have some other ones if you want to use GNOME, KDE, and this one they call it Lite, but it's basically LXDE. I'm not sure why they call it Lite when they call it LXDE at the bottom here. Uh, so that's the distro. It's based on Arch, and you know you can use AUR and stuff like that. Uh, which is compatible with uh, the AUR and stuff like that. And some things I don't like about this distro, just a little mini review here, I guess, is uh, I don't like the fact that they don't have uh, a pseudo password by default setup. I mean, you can change that around and go back to the normal way where you have your type in your password. But for the most part, you just type in pseudo and you don't need no password and it'll do the shit. Um, so a little bit insecure there. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, they don't have the NTP package by default, which uh, will synchronize your time with an external server. So you might have to do that yourself if you want to synchronize your uh, your time. Uh, but everything else is XFC, and you can use all the new packages from the AUR, which you have to install uh, Yowert yourself. Uh, the installer is not that bad, it's just, you know, hit yes and no and some numbers and shit like that they'll give you this little command line prompt so it's not that hard to do that okay uh so that's it for the distro i'm using but really i don't really care which distro or desktop environment um and i'll explain that later on okay but let's go on to the uh the next question here which is uh distro reviews People want me to do distro reviews of like Ubuntu or GNOME 3 or, or something like that. The reason why I haven't done those is that, uh, I don't know, I just think it's played out now, you know. Like, a whole bunch of channels just doing fucking distro reviews after distro reviews. And that's, you know, I guess it's good for new users that likes that. And, um, you know, maybe learn something new for them. But for me, I don't really learn nothing from it. Um... I don't even use the distro anymore, the, the ones that they want me to review, right? So I don't even like the distros that they're trying to tell me to review. So that's a waste of energy. You know, I, I don't like it. I don't even like to promote their stupid distro anymore. Um, and uh, I don't use it no more. So, yeah, I, I know some other people, they uh, they say they hate that distro. They, they hate it so much. They talk shit about it like a bunch of times. And uh, if you hate something, why talk about it? Why promote it, you know? Use something else that you like and promote that shit. So that's why I like to focus my energy on uh, different things that I actually like. Like some of my apps that I find uh, that I like to share with other people. That's what I like to, you know, waste my energy on. Instead of like uh, talking about shitty distros that I hate. And uh, every fucking six months I have to talk about it again just because people want me to talk about it which I don't even use. So that I do have some integrity in terms of that. Like if I don't use it anymore or I don't like it anymore or I don't like to uh, support them, then I'm not going to talk about them because that's giving them like free advertisement, um, you know. So that's it for that. But if you like watching dish reviews, just go and, you know, search it out on YouTube. There's a bunch of people doing dish reviews. Some of them not, are not honest about their opinions. You know, they just want to... I guess be polite to other people instead of giving me a real fucking dish review. They just want to uh, satisfy, you know, their user base and say good things about it. For me, I'd rather say that the real thing about it than the good things about it. Because if it's, if it's a shitty distro, what do you think I'm going to say? Is good? No, I'm going to say it's shit, you know. It's the same thing like, um, let me give you a, a good example here. You go to the movies, right? Maybe your favorite actor is in there or whatever. And uh, at the end of the movie, when you walk out uh, and someone asks you, was it a good movie or a bad movie? Are you going to fucking lie to them? Like, just because maybe your favorite actor is in there or your actress or whatever? No, for me, is 
yeah, I like the actor and stuff like that, but if the movie is shit, guess what I'm going to say? The movie is shit, right? So when I do a dish review and I say something is shit, um, that's what I'm going to say, you know? The only way you're going to change my opinion, because some people think I'm a fucking lying or something. If I'm lying, this is real simple. Prove it, you know? Most of these idiots that comes to my dish reviews, they, uh, they say that I'm wrong or whatever, and I tell them, prove it. And they can't, you know? Um... But yeah, if you want to change my opinion about a dish roll or something, you got to change the fucking software. That's the only that's the only time I'm going to change my opinion is you change the software. If it's the shitty stuff, then uh, that's what you're going to get, okay? Anyways, let's get off that dish review crap and uh, what is this one here? Oh yeah, people ask me about Tiling Windows Manager. And I haven't used one, like a proper one. I mean, I used the, the KD tiling one and uh, the GNOME, uh, what's it called, blue tile or something like that. But I never a real tiling windows manager like Awesome or uh, Xmonad or, or some of uh, the other ones like i3 or something like that. That's because I don't really need one. I mean, I don't use a lot of uh, GUI apps anymore, right? I do have a poor man's uh, manually tiling. So I'll show you that here. It's open leaf pad. Right, if I want to tile, I can use my hotkeys to tile it. Um, say like I can tile this, tile half, top, bottom, or something like that. Right, so I can tile, but uh, I do it manually. And I only, like I said, I only use like one or two GUI apps uh, at most. So that's why I don't really need a tiling. But one day I will use one just because I want to say that I have used one. Uh, but that day is not today though. Next thing, people want me to do more GUI apps or something like that. Uh, you know, in the first three years or something like that on YouTube, I was doing like GUI apps. And the last couple of years, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to try uh, some command line apps and try to replace it with, uh, you know, uh, instead of GUI apps, I just use uh, command line apps uh, equivalents. And... For the most part, I got like 90% down. Like, uh, I'm mainly just using 90% command line apps. And that thing, it saves resources. I'm fucking faster with it, uh, for the most part. And I have everything in just one app, like my terminal. That's about it, right? Um, you know, I have everything in my, you know, everything I would want in my terminal. And I can see it real quick and switch between them. So, that's why I use the command line apps. Uh, the main reason for this is because... I used to use like KDE and then go to GNOME and then XFCE depending on who was asking me the questions for different desktop environments and I would switch between them you know uh, and sometimes when you switch between like different uh, uh, was that desktop environment or something like that is that you have some of your favorite apps are in KDE like oh man KDE they have Kden Live for video editing and then you go back to GNOME you know, you don't want to use the fucking KDE, uh, uh, either Yaquake or KDE Live or something like that. I mean, you could install it, but um, there's a lot of libraries that might slow down your system. And, um, yeah, a lot of libraries. And sometimes, you know, the themes doesn't look right if you're switching from KDE to GNOME or maybe XFC or something like that. And you have your favorite apps on, on different, uh, you know, uh, libraries. And it looks like shit. But with command line apps, the good thing about command line apps always looks the same. It's just a command line, right? You just open your fucking terminal. It looks the same shit. And it works on just about any system. So you can use it on Windows using SigWin or something like that. Max, they have uh, Bash or, you know, whatever shell they're using, whatever. Um, BSDs, Linux, and even like mobile apps, they have some command line terminal emulator. And you can use from there. So the command line apps is light on resources. You can do pretty much like all the basic essential stuff that you can do uh, with the GUI apps like torrents. You can watch, uh, well, maybe I don't consider that a command line, but you can do like, you know, torrents, um, some system monitoring and uh, some chatting, instant messaging, tweeting, um, you know, browsing the net and stuff like that. You can do it from the command line. So that's mainly what I use uh, 
nowadays. It's just a command line app. So I try to replace most of it. Sometimes you can't replace it like your browser. I mean, the only time I'll replace an app is that if I'm more efficient with the app than uh, the other way, okay? Uh, that's the only time. Whether it be command line app or GUI apps, doesn't matter to me. Is that I feel that I'm more efficient using it this way than that other way. Then I'll, I'll use it depending on if it's a command line app or GUI app. So it doesn't really matter to me. It's just that it has to be more efficient to me. And uh, that's why uh, most of my command line apps, I'm just more efficient at it. Okay. But, you know, like, uh, I still need my browser to browse because I think that's more efficient than the command line way. Now, the command line web browser, like my W3M, I mean, it's good for some things, like looking up information real quick, and it loads, like, like zero seconds or something like that. Uh, that's the only time I'll use it. But for the most part, I still need a, a web browser, uh, maybe an image viewer, uh, image editor, and, uh, you know, a movie player or something like that for graphics and, and videos right so that's that for command line apps and uh, why I use it um, and yeah we'll still do some GUI apps you know it, like this is for people that hates my uh, command line apps just read the fucking title if it says command line then you skip it you know if it says like GNOME or XFC or something then yeah if that's what you're using then you watch it I, I always get this like whenever I tried something like new or something like that like before I used to do a lot of GNOME um, applications uh, review or whatever. And I switched over to KDE. And then the GNOME folks are talking shit about KDE. Right. And then I tried like XFCE. Now the KDE folks are talking about, you know, talking shit about XFCE and GNOME and, and all this thing. And then I tried LXDE and then, you know, all this shit talking. So it's always funny whenever I try some new things. Uh, we get these bunch of group talking shit, but it's all in fun, I guess. Uh, so that's it for the command line. And this other one, uh, people want me to post my bash RC or ZSHRC. I've been promising this shit for like two years. <laughs> so it's finally time. I finally fucking did it because I, I had time to do it now. And I posted up on my GitHub here. All right, so just go to my GitHub, and I'll post you links on all these stuff that I talk about in the description. But you go to dot .files here, and I do have it for like other configurations. I haven't posted everything up yet, but uh, I will uh, post all my configurations up for other apps too in the future. But this is my, I guess, bash RC, ZSHRC, whatever, just my aliases and functions. All right, and here we go. This is everything. Um... That I actually use and I'll probably say the first thousand lines or something is the one I actually uh, have permanent if you go all the way to the bottom here these are some of my new ones and uh, maybe untested or I don't know what to do with them yet right and I try to put uh, links and descriptions like you know I have links on this one here and maybe like I put a description if, uh, if it's required and uh, just so people can understand what it is. That's why I hate about looking at other people's um, configuration files or bash RC files or ZSHRC files. Is that they don't put notes or links to uh, the commands. And um, that's, you know, if you're going to share it, then post fucking links or commands or uh, not a commands. I mean, description of the command. So other people can understand what the fuck it does. Uh, some of them are easy to understand. Some of them are not easy to understand. And I wish people would just put like a link or a description or something like that. So that's what I try to do for most of my uh, commands that I have in here is put links in the description. Not all of them I have, uh, you know, it has uh, links for description. But uh, majority of it I try to do it every time. So that's that. I mean, it doesn't look pretty because it has all links and fucking description in it, but uh, I think it'll help out people, so that's why I do that. And the good thing about this, I'm going to try to update this like every uh, couple of weeks or months or something like that. And you can use this GitHub here, and you all you do is click on History, right? And you can see that, okay, this one was the first time it's posted on May 4th, and you see the newest one here is uh, May 5th or whatever, and you can click on this thing. And I'll show you the difference between uh, what I deleted and what I added. So you see that the red shit is what I uh, deleted or something like that. 
and um, the green shit is what I added. So this one, I delete this one, I added this one, and so on and so forth, right? So green is add, red is delete. So you can see the, the difference uh, using GitHub here. Uh, and I'll probably show you how to do this yourself too, like uh, setting up your own dot configurations on uh, GitHub. And uh, I have this script that does it for me, so I'll show you that script maybe later on. And that's about it uh, for that. Um, I'm not sure this is relevant, but um, the last one here is I post videos. Like sometimes uh, people don't understand this is that I have videos set up for I think like 6 a.m. Um, I think every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday or something like that. 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, and I schedule it, all right? And the schedule is because, um, it's not like, like before I used to post like videos every day and people hated that shit. So I try to schedule it and put it like every other day or something like that. And so people can watch it. And it also gives me time to learn new applications and make new videos. But if you really want to know when I created it, you always look at my, uh, you know, Tmux, uh, what was it here? They give you the date and time that I created the video. So you can see that right now, Sunday, you might see it on uh, maybe a different day or something like that. But uh, if you really want to know when it was created, there you go. That's it for that. And so to recap, if you have any questions on, um, you know, my Bash RC or whatever, right? You can always tell me uh, which line you're referring to, and I'll try to give you a, an answer. Because some of these I, I haven't made videos for, All right? So just tell me which line you're talking about, and I might explain it to you, or I might make a video about it. Um, some of these I, I do want to make a video for, but I don't have time right now to do it. And sometimes it's kind of complicated to explain uh all of these stuff here. So a little bit of warning, not all these commands lines are safe, so make sure you understand it before you uh, try something out, okay? So that's it for that. And if you have any other questions, hit me up on YouTube or any of the social networks, and I'll try to reply or make a video or whatever to explain your question. That'll be it for this one. Uh, hopefully it's a short video.